seems to be eating all the food. Uh, seems unprofitable to me, but you know, whatever. It's your business. There's a token in it for you if you win. So you come across a broken down wagon, laden with food, its owner nowhere in sight. So, I feel like... I got enough food right now, I'm not gonna steal from this guy, cause I f you know... Obviously, calling out to offer help is what the game wants me to do. So I'm gonna do it. Oh, thank god you're here. Immersion leaps from the bushes. Some bandits attack my cart, and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. Alright. That was pretty easy. As he hands over some food, the merchant explains that he was on his way to a distant trading post, and that as a result of his troubles, his food delivery will be delayed. So he's going to give me the food anyway, which is awesome. Thank you. And it gets a token. So, yeah. It pays to be a paragon, baby. Alright, so this card, I have tried Win several times. And claim my token. I always mess it up, but now I have the, uh, the whatever blessing that lets me try twice. So, strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored but now faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past uh, wonders and amazements, seeming all dazed. There's something about this place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Oh boy. Here we go. A choice. Oh, I, I saw it go in the back, but where did it go? Right here. Yes! Yes! Got it. <laughs> Alright, so that's part one. Cheers and gas draw you to a large tent. Inside, you discover a number of spectacled... Spectacles? Yeah, spectacles. Spectacles. Spe asbestos. You discover a large asbestos being performed by a costume artist. Here we go. Again. Heart of the cards. Never let me down. Oh, okay. We gotta redraw. We're okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah! Oh, I think this is it. I think I get it. Uh, along the back of the large tent, you discover a row of cages. Strange creatures look at you mournfully through the bars. You stop at the sight of a beast with the body of a lion and the head of a man. That is... That's terrifying. That's some full metal alchemist stuff right there. Please help me, the beast exclaims. I was born a man, but then I came here. They did this to me. You open this cage and the beast jumps out saying, Bless you, stranger. I may live out my days as an animal, but at least I don't have to perform for these devils. So you get a blessing card. Which I'm a fan of. Very nice indeed. So for each blessing I have, I do bonus damage. So I think I got like three now? I'll take a look here in a sec. The, uh, the man beast turns and flees between the other cages, swiping at them in fury as he passes. Various other cages break open, releasing a number of unusual looking beasts that fly away. So, I pretty much just, like, saved the world. I think. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest. The sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Probably, like, Monday, because that's tomorrow. Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. So, like, I pretty much just went on a huge acid trip where I found, like, a super mythological man-lion. And then I, like, let it go. Good game. So, token's mine. I'm glad to be done with that one, because, like I said, I failed that, like, a hundred times. Yeah, Nina. She knows. She knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got a lot of blessings, curses. So I got guardian angel. Okay, this is a blessing, I think. And then this. So I'm basically going to be getting six bonus damage per hit. Which, you know, I'm a fan of. I don't know about you guys. I love bonus damage. 
So that trip was definitely, definitely worth it. Caves and caverns. I got One some tokens. Hope to find adventure without got some food delving to now. kind of pay for the trip. And I finally beat the Devil's Carnival. So, get wrecked. Pretty much the best of this game. So I'm gonna go. Next floor. It has been many ages since the King of Skulls has seen combat. He is hungry. Oh, nice to meet you, Hungry. My name's Dad. <laughs> uh, did I call you a she? I don't know. If I did, then I'm the man. Okay. It's all oh, the lizard dome. If you have uh, seen the homelands of the lizard men, and you still survive the experience. I, uh, I suppose it's probably gonna be like the Thunderdome. So, a challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Yeah, token. I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese. One night, you were captured by lizardmen, typical, and brought before their king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in their underground arena. Well, I lost all my equipment. That sucks. Um, well, I'm gonna choose the easy one. Because that's what I do. So I'm hoping there's not like a, a catch here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I don't have any equipment, does that mean I don't even have a weapon? Am I supposed to like punch the guy to death? Okay, they gave me a crappy axe. Alright, that's fine. Alright, tell these idiots to get over here. So. Yeah, I haven't played without a shield in a long time, so that basically means I can't do counterattacks. So I gotta pay attention to the animations. Use bombs wisely. Do barrel rolls when necessary. And use the boost to get through. Kick that dude in his junk, and then uh, he's dead. Alright. Is that all you got, lizard men? You call this a lizard dome? So Lizard King returns, grants you a reward before returning your equipment. Four gains! Yeah, baby! Baby, a triple. Five max health. The pendulum can swing both ways. Which will help because I lost like 30 maximum health. So, you know. And 10 food. That should pretty much probably set me for the rest of the game, I hope. Because I think, based on the shape of this floor, it's probably the last one. On your way back to the surface, you see pens of other human captives waiting to fight in the arena. Back on the surface, you are released, but hesitate at the pitiful sounds of screams for help that rise from the tunnels. I just, I can't. I can't not do it. Because I didn't get the token yet, so I assume I gotta try to save these people. I got a 1 in 4 chance. I gotta take it. I'm the man! Like... People wanna be me. I'm so good at this game. From scrub to king in one day. You sneak back into the tunnel, release some of the prisoners. On the way out, a guard raises the alarm as you lead the group to the surface and away into the darkness. The card's token is now yours. Bless you for freeing us, one of the prisoners says as they disappear into the forest. Draw a blessing. Which, first of all, holy touch. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. So, holy touch. Undead that physically strike the player receive damage. So I'm going to be fighting the King of Skulls, and he's definitely going to have Skull Burrows with him. So this is a good one to have. Secondly, my um, blessing that I already had will now be giving me two more damage per hit because of that. So yeah, call that a pretty pretty good day's work. Twisted Canyon. Um, so this one is basically really easy and I can get a free weapon card, but I already have a good weapon and I forget what happens if you lose, so I'm just going to skip it. I don't want to risk, like, losing something that I already have. Okay, so the blood auction. We I did this... For a token now. I did this on my last run, and so if you go to this blood auction, you basically wager your health 
to try to win an item. And the minimum wager is 60 health. And since I only have 75, um, I'm not going to do it. Because I did it last time at 60 and I lost. So I feel like you probably have to have either 120 or 180 health to try to get this card to work. And I don't have that kind of health. So I'm going to skip it. This is probably something best left for endless mode, honestly. Um, when you can get like more health and stuff, like stack it up. So I'm going to leave discreetly. I feel kind of bad for like skipping cards. I feel oh uh, more ill fortune, more injury <sighs> added to insult. So this guy's going to give me a curse and a blessing, I think, which means I'm going to lose 10 maximum health again. Yeah. The gods look upon you favorably. So one food for every lizard killed is a pretty good card if you fight a lot of lizards, but I'm probably not gonna see that many, so this kinda sucks. And dealers. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Whenever the player selects a huge success chance card, they must draw a pain card. Oh, this is just not nice. Plus, I'm going to lose 10 health. Um, yeah, not good. Oh, another curse. You're not having much luck right oh. now. These people are high on their own farts right now. They think I want all these curses? Treasure picker. When the game chooses from multiple equipment or gains cards, the choices available are increased by one. So that's decent, but it does not make up for the fact that I'm about to lose ten health. Another curse on the table. Let's <laughs> see how you deal with it. The player cannot choose a combat encounter choice if there are any other choices. All right. So basically, I'm not allowed to fight anymore unless it's like the only option. I hope I just find the stupid king of douchebags so I can. Everywhere you go, mess up his day. Your steps are dogged by death, even now. Yeah, you're telling me, buddy. Again, a token is at stake. <clears throat> so you come across a narrow valley. Several dead adventurers lie under piles of stones. Like I would just leave. That's <sighs> all right. Let's go for it. The old man sighs, but then says, "Good luck. You're gonna need it." You set off through the valley at a run. Soon you hear the distinctive call of Hill of Giants far behind you. They begin to throw rocks. Oh, are you kidding me? It's like Skyrim all over again. Stupid giants. I think I saw it. Oh, I did not see it. <laughs> Luckily, I get the reroll. And. Oh my. Some, uh, a, <laughs> this is probably going to kill me, um, if I'm being perfectly honest. So I'm about to deal five pain cards. Yeah. Minus How five max unpleasant. health. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, bring it on. Fifteen max health. <laughs> You're at the edge now. Yeah, you kidding Survival me. Survival will require near perfection in all things. You hear the giants calling out to each other excitedly. It seems you are providing fine sport for them today. Oh, no. No. Not again. Yes, thank you. <laughs> God. Even if I survive this encounter, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna die against the King of Skulls. There's like no Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's so fast. There's no way a human can watch these. Oh, oh! I'm superhuman! Oh. Putting on a final burst of speed, give it all, give it your all, and at the last moment, you dive headfirst into the cave. A dozen more rocks crash down outside the entrance, but you are safe now. In the dim light, you discover a chest of gold and finely crafted but damaged mace. You take it with you to have it repaired. So I assume this is probably part of like a tandem, uh, 
a tandem card set. So like you get the the broken mace and then you probably have to take it to a certain location and have it repaired. So I'm gonna get a bunch of gold. Good for me, because it's like the last level and I already skipped all the shops. Uh yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Outside the hill, uh, outside the hill giants seem to be fighting amongst themselves. Although the occasional stone or injured giant falls from above, you manage to leave the valley without further injury. Perfect. Got the token. At least. At least we got that. Here we go. Found him. One must now God. end. Why didn't I go around the other way? So this is the King of Skulls. The mighty lord of the undead. The skeleton king's defenses are practically impenetrable, and he will use both sword and shield to fell you. The most fearsome undead warrior ever seen. Pfft, hard to believe that. He carries uh, on one arm a shield that would crush most men, and with the other wields a two-handed sword with deadly ease. So, uh, as you plunder the secrets of your memory, my strat here. Gain new cards, some you'll wish you'd left untouched. I'm pretty much gonna try to scum this fight if I can by just constantly dodge rolling, and then using the uh, the activated effect of the undead bane weapon, and I'm just gonna try to just totally cheese this fight because I have 15 health. I don't know if you noticed that. 15. That's significantly less than I had A, when I started this whole thing, and B, when I started this level. So, yeah. I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of ranged enemies, but knowing my luck, there will be hundreds of them, and they're all going to want my blood. Alright, so this dude is uh, not messing around. I'm gonna mash this button here. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, run. Run. Okay, so by some miracle, I am one. Still alive. Two, I have killed almost everything. Oh, no. No, he's got hyper beam. Get him away from me. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh. <laughs> I am the champion. So I don't like to be like cocky or anything, I but I might. Well used here. I might actually the be the best Skulls at this game. Avoided my grasp until now. You have sent him to my realm. It is time for a long delayed reckoning. So yeah, uh, number one, suck it, King of Skulls. All right. Number two, I unlock the pinnacle. So once you, there are like four worlds, quote unquote, in this game, consisting of like four bosses each. So when you beat them, you get these uh, global upgrades. So my starting gear is gonna be upgraded. So it usually means I get like a better weapon or armor. Uh, Deadly Combatant, you advance the powerful blows more quickly, so that means like my combo meter doesn't have to be as high before I can hit like criticals. Um, blessing bonus, at the start of your adventure you will get a blessing. Awesome. Um, skeletons will now be stronger, so they'll pretty much come back to uh, come back to life, basically. Ratman Leap Attack, perfect, because they're not annoying enough. And then skeletons are just going to get an overall health buff. So Take the game... Time if you like. I've waited long enough. This guy is so rude. I'm trying to talk here. So the game like gradually gets harder. Um, it kind of balances, it tries to balance like you with the enemies, but I feel like ultimately the game is supposed to get harder. So yeah. The pentacle, then. It will only benefit you so far. 
and no further. More power for you. So basically I love how uh, the subtitle and what the guy actually said did not match up whatsoever. <laughs> See, I just got a ton of tokens. We're gonna look at them. So for interrupting the dark ritual, I receive the Lich. Cool. Um, for helping the food merchant who is accosted by bandits, you receive the Ring of Return. Okay, equipment. And the trading post. So this would be like a continuation of the quest. For being a victim of the Devil's Carnival. Oh, like poor Mr. Like Lion Face Man or whatever. Yeah. I call him Ted. Uh, so for freeing him, I get the giant eagle. So I'm pretty much hoping that this is gonna be like Lord of the Rings style, where I'm like gonna be about to die and then the eagle just shows up and carries me to Mordor and drops the ring in the giant volcano for me. Spoilers, that's what happens in the movie. Sorry. Hey, if you had like 15 years to see it, it's your own fault. So, for rescuing the lizard man, uh, prisoners, we get the wandering minstrels, alright? So for looting the Valley of the Hill Giants, which was horrible and I will never, ever do that again. That card is like coming out of my deck and never going back in, I don't care if it prevents me from getting some achievement by not finishing it, whatever, I don't care. That card's gone. For good. So I got the Eye of the Storm, which not to be confused with Eye of the Hurricane, which is a pretty sweet signature move of Hurricane Helms. And the Plunderer's Cap. Ah, uh, okay. And this is what I get for beating the King of Skulls. Skeleton King Helmet. Alright. Looks pretty... pretty alright. Skeleton King Shield. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take bets. If you think this is gonna be the Skeleton King Sword... ...type anything in chat. Just raise... Raise your rock yahas. I don't care. Okay. Oh, there it is. Skeleton King Sword. We were alright. We're so smart. Uh, then I'm gonna get the Queen of Scales, which is gonna be the next level. The next boss I have to fight. So that's the Lizard Queen. Cave Rescue. Aw, oh, dude. Dongers. Donger, no Dongerinos, please. Dongers are banned in my chat. Per Twitch terms of service, per AOL terms of service, I don't, I don't know, one of those two. You have come further than I ever expected. So yeah, this is um, this is Hand of Fate. I really like this game. I know some people don't. That's okay. It's free country. Unless you don't live in a free country, in which case I'm sorry that you don't live in America. But, uh, again, this is kind of like me doing my little pitch for this game. This, this chat is sponsored by whoever made this game. I don't know. Whatever. I like this game. 25 bucks is kind of a big ask, so I understand that some people may not want to buy it. But if you ever see this game on sale for, like, I don't know, 50% off, like 10, 10 to $15, I would say you could definitely get that much enjoyment out of it. Um, it's a pretty long game, uh, as far as, like, indie games go. I want to say I've probably played, I don't know, let's see if I can, see if I can find out real quick, um, a guesstimate. Look it up in my guestonomicon here. Uh, Hand of Fate. So yeah, um, I've played this game for about eight, eight or nine hours so far. And I still have three of the main missions to go. And then there is also an endless mode, which I am waiting to play till I, I beat all the levels. Um, so this game does have a fair amount of content, uh, if you really deep uh, dive into it. So I would say 10 to 15 bucks is a good, good game. 
I like I said, twenty to twenty-five. It's kind of a stretch. I bought it for twenty. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. But if this game isn't like, if you don't like the choose your adventure style, that this game really kind of thrives on. You're not gonna like this game. I'm just telling you right now. Um, so yeah, it's my little pitch. Um, so I've been going for like two and a half hours. Throat's getting a little dry and scratchy. But is getting a little bit numb, not gonna lie. And I am like super hungry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and say two and a half hours. Pretty good for the inaugural grand opening of the big pharmacy. That's what I'm calling my channel, by the way. I'm trying to get some branding on it. Um, I say that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here. Thank you all for stopping out. Uh, thank you, Jeno, even though you're a dirty scumbag and I hate you. Uh, thank you, Midnight Maniac 13, who apparently is a girl. And I identified her correctly on the first try by mistake. Um, and thank you to the squirrel who is uh, in here lurker Durkin, I think. Oh no, she, uh, they left. Well, they were here. I, I promise. They were here. Um, and then my other two viewers, Bane of Batman, just left, and some other dude just left. Because I basically said I'm going to quit. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for uh, enjoying the game, taking part in the chat. Uh, so before I leave, go ahead and turn this turn this game off because uh, this music is just too spooky. It's so ominous. Um, I'm gonna turn this game off. And I know there's only like two of you left, but it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get this out there. Um, so one of the things that I kind of want to do on this channel is, um, I want to have some, like, viewer interaction in terms of the content, uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to post the link in the chat. This is a Google document containing all 576 of my Steam games that I currently own. Uh, now, granted, not all these are installed right now, because that would take, like, astronomical NASA levels of hard drive space. Um, but these are all my Steam games. Uh, just take a look at the list. Peruse the list, if you will. Um, if there's games on here that you would like to see played in the future... Just let me know. Either, uh, you know, you just type them in chat sometime when I'm streaming, or send me a Twitch message. That's fine, because I'm not famous enough to get too many Twitch messages to not be able to read them all. Like, so you can just, uh, yeah, take a look. You see something, like, either just, like, a game that maybe you've never seen before that you would like to see, or maybe there's, like, a personal favorite. Maybe, maybe you are a huge Guardians of Graxia fan. And you just want to see me struggle some more with that game? Just let me know. I'll do it. I'm not above it. I am. Uh, I am pretty much the definition of a panderer. So, anyway, thanks again for hanging out. Welcome to the big pharmacy. Now go home. <laughs>